Hi, hello guys. It's me, Teacher Wally again. And today we will have another example from our viewers. The most requested, requested one from our viewers. Uh, we will try to make the orthographic drawing or the three main views of this isometric drawing. But before anything else, I would like to thank all our subscribers, our viewers, and uh, thank you for all the likes, your comments, and suggestions. And uh, please keep uh, posted with my uploads and with my videos in my channel. Please look, uh, hit the like button, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's start! If you miss our first video uh, in orthographic drawing, you may find your that video here in our description here. And uh, today we will have another example, which is example number two of uh, orthographic drawing. And for now, we will have this figure here, right here, our isometric drawing now, our isometric figure, and we will try to make the three main views namely the front view the top view and the side view of this figure right here and we will do this in a third angle projection okay so before before anything else i would like to uh, to explain some confusions about uh, our drawings uh well actually uh, the first angle and the third angle projection depends on the, the projections itself, yes, of course. But uh, I found some uh, videos and tutorials that differs, uh, it depends or depends on the observer or the position of the observer. Now, this is uh, what it means, guys. Okay. Uh, see, for example, I have this figure right here. Okay. And then uh, I... I color coded it so that you will understand which is the front view, uh, which uh, views are the side view and the top view. So basically, right here, we still don't have our observer history and we don't know yet uh, the position of our isometric drawing here, whether the, the green ones are the front view, the yellow ones are the front view, and then it uh, goes down to where your observer or observers are. Uh, say, for example, in this figure, say, for example, my observer will be on the left side of the drawing. So, uh, if in this case, if my observer is on the left side of the isometric drawing, the yellow part will be your front view. The top view will be your uh, red parts right there. And your side view is the green parts. And if our observer is in the right, then that will change everything. Now, your green parts right there are your front view and the top view will be the same red part and your side view will be your yellow parts right there so it depends merely on the position of your observer so let's try to make the third angle projection of this figure and let's place our observer right here in the left part uh, so, the first thing we want to do is what? So, I want to put first my horizontal axis and my vertical axis here. So, that's the first thing you want to do. So, again, I'm using my T-square right here up to here. And, of course, the vertical line or axis. So, I'm going to put my vertical axis here, right here. And then, 
let's check first where our center is okay and there you go and just like in my previous videos our projection line or 45 degree line will be from here going here in our first quadrant so using our with the help of our 45 degree by 90 degree triangle all we need to do is to draw an inclined line here where in your angle here will be of course 45 degree so next will be your spaces of course uh, if I'm doing my orthographic I would like to give my spaces one centimeter both sides of course let's put one centimeter here and one centimeter there there you have it and then with the help again of our triangle let's make light lines here as our spaces our guides there you go and of course with our horizontal axis let's put one centimeter from here let's move first one centimeter below and one centimeter one centimeter on top of our horizontal line and of course our light lines as our spaces there you go and let us locate first our three main views here of course we have our front view located here that will be our front view our top view will be right here on top of our front view of course and our side view will right on this side so again just like with my previous videos in our isometric drawing we still have our or we do have our three main dimensions namely the width the depth and the height so first thing we want to do is our front view based on our isometric drawing here we have and as you can see in our drawing right here in our isometric drawing our width is 60 millimeter 60 millimeters right there all right so from here we will measure 60 millimeters horizontally going from this point from this corner going to that point so from 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 millimeters so that would be my 60 millimeters or 6 centimeters next if you have your 60 millimeters here of course you will have your 60 millimeters here since in our object here we have our height as 60 millimeters so from this point going down will be 60 millimeters as well so let's look for our 60 millimeters here and let's locate our 60 millimeters here this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 millimeters and draw a horizontal line right there and a vertical line from this mark going there at first i'm i'm using uh, light lines only so you may find it easier to delete the unnecessary lines after so i do have now my box or square right here but as you can see in our drawing right here we have a cut in the middle part which is equivalent to 30 so from here 
going up or from here going down we will measure 30 millimeters since it is uh, half of 60 that would be 30 millimeters so my 30 millimeters is right there from 0 1 2 and 3 30 or 3 centimeters is equal to 30 millimeters and then I will make my horizontal line here. And then after that, you will measure again 30 millimeters from here. Or you can start from here. That is 0, 1, 2, and 3. We have our 30 millimeters. Now, so from here, I would like to make my vertical line right there. And there you go, our front view. Now to make it more visible, I will make, uh, I will use my magic pen right here, and let's make our lines more visible. First is our horizontal lines, which indicates our width, or the width of our drawing, right there. And next is our vertical lines from this point up to that point and from this point up to this corner there you go next to our views we will try to make now our top view given our front view here all we need to do is to extend the lines from our front view going to our top right there extend all the lines or all, all the vertical lines from our front view going up and we have another one here and then we have it there and then since this is our top view, we can say that our depth from here up to here will be 60 millimeters as well. So let's try to make it 60 millimeters. So say for example, this is my zero. We'll start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six millimeters. I'll mark my 60, uh, 60 millimeters, I mean. 60 millimeters and then using my t square i will draw a horizontal line like there and as you can see also in our given figure right here we have a cut also in the middle part of our depth right here which is equivalent to 30 millimeters as well and then all we need to do is to measure 30 millimeters from this corner we count one two and three which makes us or give us our 30 millimeters and then from here all you need to do is to draw a horizontal line again and now we can now erase the unnecessary lines right there and again, just like what I've said, to make our object or our view more visible, let's use our magic pen again. From this point up to this corner. We have another horizontal line right here. Going that side. And last one on the top. There you go. And then the next is our vertical lines of course from this corner up to that corner from this side up to that corner and lastly in this side from this up to this point and there you go our top view So we now have our front view and our top view. All we need to do now is our side view. 
To keep in from the top view and the front view, all you need to do is to project all the horizontal lines from our front view going to the side. Horizontal lines, project all the horizontal lines. And right there, we already have that one there. And the next thing is project all the horizontal lines from our top view to the projection line right there. So, one, project, uh, project this horizontal line going there, boom. And then another one on the top, boom, to the, our projection line. And then from our projection line going down with the use of our 45 degree triangle, of course. This point to that corner, let's extend our, all right, and then another one here from this point up to that point. And as you can see here, automatically it will give us six millimeters, uh, six centimeters which is equivalent to 60 millimeters from this zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can already now have our side view. Let's make our lines more visible by using our magic pen. There is one. Another one here. And there. And of course, our vertical lines. We have one here on this side. We have another one this side. And lastly, we have from this point up to this corner. And there you have it, our three main views. Top view, the front view, and the side view. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please share with your friends. And... Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned with my channel, with my uploads, and thank you so much. Ciao.